Hi everybody, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we are working in Pharaoh's scene software. We've got some um, scan data, point cloud data that was collected with a uh, S350 scanner. And as with any project, we've got some, uh, some traffic, some people that have been standing or walking in it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and show a quick how to, to uh, get rid of the, uh, whether they're standing, walking, uh, any kind of traffic that it seems to get into our scan projects. We all deal with it. Uh, it's very quick. It's very easy. We're working with the scene version 2022.1.0 today. So here is our opening project uh, screen. As you can see, we've got uh, just seven scans. It's registered completely. We can jump directly into Explore and see that we've got uh, a large building interior scan. So in order to do this type of cleanup work on an interior scan, uh, really not gonna be able to work in this type of um, screen at all. You're not gonna be able to, um, without really damaging your project, work in the full 3D screen. Um, what will happen if, let's just say that we, uh, we section off something really simple here and if we click on this and delete it what's going to happen is we're going to blow uh not only this we're not going to just remove this forklift we're going to completely blow out everything that's behind that forklift all the way back through the warehouse out the back. So you're going to just have a giant hole in data. That's a, a, a type of technique that you would use if you are uh, looking at a project that's maybe uh, a road that you uh, are doing some accident recon on or some DOT work. Uh, you can literally look straight down the road in 3D and just blow a hole and delete all the cars in it. Uh, get quite a bit of data if it's fairly flat. And then, you know, you've got a nice and clean um, road to deal with. But obviously, when you've got an interior scan, that's just not a possibility. So what we'll do is we'll just come over to the tree on the left. We'll double click on our first scan. And this is a quick view. Um, for those of you that haven't worked with a Ferro scanner before, this is all laser points. There's been no uh, photographs. Uh, color added to it. So if this entire uh, building was pitch dark and you did it, uh, the, the scan project, um, you know, it would look exactly like this. So uh, this is the ideal way to look at the scan projects in 2D bubble view because you don't have to worry about too much light or not enough light. You've got no uh, issues with shading uh, in areas like this that, uh, you might, if there was light that was uh, in the, you know, color added, the photographs were added, you would have oversaturation of light and shaded areas. So basically we can just look around, see what this project looks like. Let's go ahead and grab a scan here that's got some traffic in it. Now, as you can see right here, it, it hardly visible, but that's just from this angle. So if we were to go ahead and just grab this here, right click and then view that in 3D. Now we're gonna take just that section out of a 2D view and then we're going to look at it in 3D. Now, if we wanna see just how much data is on there, we drop a, a center point and just turn it. So we've got a lot more point cloud data in that little, I guess you would call it a squiggle, than what you really even knew. And what's going to happen if you look at the um, scan data in 3D, say we were to, you know, clip box just all except for a small area, and it might include this, there's more here to, uh, to, to interfere with what we're supposed to be measuring or, or you know, documenting, modeling, there's more data here that needs to be taken out than what we could see from just that initial quick view. So to get rid of that, we're just going to go back over here to our selector, use the polygon, 
And then every time you left click your mouse, it's going to drop a point. And then you can just keep dragging it through. Now you get to the end, double click, and it closes it. Now, not to get in too big a hurry, this happens to all of us. Once you right click on this, you're deleting the inside of the section. Um, what will happen is if you get in a hurry and you, you really think you've got this down um, and you delete the outside of the section, you may blow a bunch of data out that you're actually going to need. So two things. Number one, slow down, pay attention to what you're doing, delete the inside of the section. But more importantly, now that we know we've done it right, save it. Because if you've got to take out, say, 25 different, um, you know, uh, people out of a scam project and you get to number 24 and you haven't saved it yet and you accidentally delete what's outside of that um, selection instead of inside, now shutting down the software, don't save it. You go back in and start all over again. You've got to go through all 24 again to get to just where you were. So as you go along, it's a good idea. And, and again, we all do it. We all make the mistake. We get in a hurry. But once you've got some of your data cleaned up, just go ahead and, and save what you just did and then move on. So again, if there's 25 different um, traffic, you know, whether it's a forklift driving by, somebody standing or walking, if there's 25 different things that you're trying to take out, and you save that 25 times, the 24th where you screw it up, may that may save you a ton of time by just shutting down the scene software. Don't save it where you screwed up. Start it back up, and you're literally only going to need to redo from where you just screwed up. So, uh, again, we'll do it one more time. We'll jump into another scan here. And again, doesn't look like much, but as you can see, if we come in and we grab the data, dragging with our left uh, mouse button, right click the mouse button, view, 3D view. Gonna come down to this and set a rotation point and then turn it. Again, a lot more data than what you could see in the uh, original uh, view. But we go into our polygon selector here on the left. And again, left click, left click, left click, left click, left click, and then double click. And you've got a sealed um, selection here. Right click, delete inside the selection, hit escape. And once you close that out, go ahead and save it again. I hope this saves you guys some headaches. Let us know if there's anything in particular you'd like to see us do a quick tutorial on. Again, this is Nick with Atlantic Laser Scanning Services. We do tutorials. We rent Ferrofocus scanners. We've got Creoform scanners. Let us know if we can help in any way. Our number is 800-955-3960. Email us at info at Thanks.